So the amount of things that can happen in three and a half months. You know, I sort of flubbed on keeping my promise from before of like keeping a whole weekly series with the HDS, like Pro League stuff. But uh, I'm back. I do want to talk a lot with everything that's kind of happened since I've been away and like what's happening right now, the whole roster mania, like roster mania, like it's a big thing right now. I have like a little, little paper here, just like got everything down, like what the heck's going on, you know, pretty cool right there. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, we had Envy defeating Optic in the season finals, and like, wow. You know, people thought that Envy was a pretty good team, but I don't think anyone thought that they could actually like, beat Optic the way they did. Like, I think everyone, like almost everyone, was like pretty convinced that Optic was the best team. Online, debatable, I'd say debatable just based in the Pro League, but like, on land, like, they are a different animal. We saw them, I believe there's a, there's like a side tournament where uh, Envy and Optic sort of face each other. Like not even a contest, I believe it was like four, like two or three four O's back to back. Like it was, like they were not on the same level at all. I didn't think like they would actually beat them, but they did. And now they're kind of like handling them in scrims too, which is very interesting to see. Another thing, LOL guy, oh my god, LOL. So. This team, I thought like they were done. They look like the old Optic with like Maniac when they first started out. Like they look so deflated. I thought like for sure this team, maybe they'll get like a one. Maybe they get a one win. Claw their way back. And they got fourth in the season finals. And I'm like, holy crap. Like, you know, props to them. And like now they're rebranded as Shrey Ripping. And you know, so but for like stuff that's going to now. Freaking roster mania, like roster mania, like that's just it. Like that, you just gotta say that, and like you, you just know. Like, okay, so with Envy and Optic, they're seeing the same. Like, you know, why, why would they change? Both of them are undeniably the best teams right now. But you have Liquid uh, made a few changes with Penguin, Rain, Stellar, and Eco. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy there. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Looking pretty solid right now. I'd say they're like about like the fourth best team if I were to judge it right off the bat. Uh, we have Problem Solvers, Barton, Comlink, Suspector, and Denoxide. Very interesting lineup here. Uh, very like, uh, I guess, like the new Young Guns sort of team. And they're actually doing very good as well. They're like toe and toe of Liquid, I'd say. Uh, the thing is, it's interesting, this team though, they're actually not a pro team. Uh, they're going to be going through the amateur bracket, meaning that you have your seven pro teams for the world uh, for the world finals. I didn't even mention the world finals. There's going to be seven teams for the uh, HDS world finals like they had last year. Last year we had eight teams. This year we had seven. And uh, this team uh, does have a Spartan and Colony, which are part of the Team Liquid roster from before. But it's sort of the uh, Penguin and Rain uh, duo that's going to keep the Liquid seed. So you know that leaves them like you know who the hell problem solver is going to be now. You know, there is some rumors that FaZe would come to the scene, but like, let's be honest, that's not going to happen. I believe they've even talked about it before in the past, like Halo really isn't something worth diving into. But there are some rumors in the team out forums of potentially Splice uh, being sponsored them, so North American uh, organization. But yeah, they're looking pretty solid, like I'm pretty excited for this team. I uh, I'm, I look so excited right now, right? <laughs> But uh, okay, so EG, EG, okay, big win right here. EG, we have Roy, Lunchbox, Contra, and Pre-Devinator. Now, this team is actually not brand new. This uh, this lineup, actually, they were sort of a team for, like, I think, a scrim and a half before the season started. Like, EG was trying a different, like, rotation before they finally got to Ninja and Victory X. They decided to stick with that until they switched to Stellar and then the entire team went downhill. But they stuck with uh, Contra and Pre-Devinator. They, they were decent. But if they can make it to land, like this team will be top four without a doubt. This team right now, like, they are the freaking real deal right here. <laughs> now we have E6, the current E6 right now. It's a Boo 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 Shooter, Falcon, and Shotzi. Now Shotzi, he was actually part of a different lineup just yesterday. It's a recent news that he switched over. I believe Renegade was part of this lineup before. I'm not positive. But uh, this team, very wish washy. But I think with this new addition of Shotzi, it's going to be a very, very different team. And I think people will be surprised to see them kind of rise to the top. Kind of like how E6 was presumably the, the number two best team from before as well. And we have LG right now, which is uh, Ninja, Trippy, Elton, Victory X. Of course, Trippy being the new person here. Uh, Trippy was uh, a player on uh, the Money Matches team. They were one of the teams that made it to the uh, relegation tournament at the end of the season finals. And they got fourth, but I guess they really saw something in Trippy. They're looking pretty decent right now. They're kind of spontaneous as a team. Sometimes they do pretty good against teams. And other times it kind of falls short, so I think they're really 
around the bottom tier of pro teams. That doesn't mean they're bad. They're like, definitely capable of taking serious off of the other teams on here as it stands now. But, you know, I just say that's where their kind of power ranking lies for now. Then you have Shirt Ripon. Kind of a freaking mess, I'll be honest. Shirt Ripon, we have uh, Ace, ABG, Hines, and Renegade. Before, Renegade used to be Nated, but uh, Nated decided to go with a different team. This team, like, I don't know what to say. Like, Hines, there were some rumors that Hines might retire. Ace and APG, they only went through like one scrim since being back from season finals. They're really not looking too good. They did have a recent scrim against another team, which I'll get to, but they did do pretty good. But um, I definitely say they have a lot of catching up to do. But uh, okay, so we have uh, an unnamed team right now. We have Kratos, Nated, Straight Sick, and Nemesis. All familiar names, I think maybe Nemesis. Uh, you guys know him, he was kind of an up and coming player in the Halo 4 scene. I know Halo 4, right? Yeah. But um, Halo 4, he was definitely one of the better players. So they actually teamed for Kratos and Nemesis before. And they did pretty well. Um, and this team definitely has potential. There's rumors that this team might become E6 if E6 decides to stick with Halo. But you know what? Kratos has his influence. And I think, you know, if he wanted to, I think they might be able to get him back. All right, then you have uh, a Ryan Noob and friends. A uh, Ryan Noob prototype. I put an asterisk right now there. Uh, Baby J in Destroyed. Now, Prototype, they were playing, they were a team as of yesterday, but today, earlier today, Prototype actually sent out like a, like a twit longer saying that he's going to take a break from playing Halo now, which kind of screws up everything. I don't know, I think they might be going with Eli Elite. They're looking pretty decent. They're doing pretty good against like the lesser like amateur teams. Scrims and Pro teams here did pretty good as well. Uh, they have Panda Gaming, which is Cloud, Gabriel, Brainstorm, and Vtex, sort of uh, newer names there. Very interested to see what they do as well. And yeah, the big one, apparently Ogre 2 is back. I came back and apparently uh, there's a new team, presumably nicknamed Tuger's Daycare for now. You have Ogre 2, Arctic, Saiyan, and used to be Shotzi as of yesterday. I was writing this all up and like, oh, Shotzi, I, like, I knew this guy. Because this guy actually came from, he won a Team Beyond 4v4 and 2v2 tournaments before against pro players. The new rules for competing in the World Championship is now 13 and older. Shotzi, I believe is 16, might be 17. And he's very, very, like, this guy, like, literally, he is, like, potentially, like, the next Frosty. Like, he's really good. And this kind of screws him all over because Shotzi decided to go with uh, E6, which might be uh, Allegiance now. As Allegiance did say they're going to be announcing their team tomorrow, which is rumored to be this same E6 roster. So, might be uh, Allegiance, probably Allegiance. <laughs> so, again, I was just going through, like, things we're talking about in the forums. Ninja's retirement. Ninja's retiring because he plays too much H1Z1. Now granted, you know, I kind of bought into this at first, saying like, you know, it definitely would be smarter for him to invest full time after Worlds goes over. But he's been confirmed by uh, It's26 on the team of forums. He's actually a good friend of Ninja. He saw him over the winter break and Ninja did tell him that he's planned to continue playing Halo even after Worlds goes over. So. Stop that right there. Uh, Ryan of the content god, apparently. I came back and everyone's praising him. Um, I definitely think Ryan Noob's what he does is uh, definitely an example that other pros should follow, like start to actually get stuff out for other people to see. But uh, you know, definitely yeah, I'll link his stuff, you should definitely check him out. Um, you have St. Louis coming up, which is the next major LAN. I don't know when exactly that is. It is sometime this month, though. I believe it might be January 20th. 21st, maybe 20th. Yeah, I know it's definitely a weekend, one of the weekends with the 20s coming up. So it's kind of very soon. It might be this weekend. I don't know. I'll be, I'll be honest. I think it might be this weekend. I think it's probably the next weekend after that. And last thing, um, don't need this anymore. My montage. Okay, so I know I literally made a video like a year ago saying, hey, it's gonna come out soon. It's about like 30% done. And honestly, it's kind of same situation. I was gonna make a video of what happened before, but my laptop, which I was originally editing on, it crashed, the entire program deleted everything I was doing. So basically, I had to re-download Final Cut Pro on a different laptop. I had to re-download on that, get all my files back from my capture card into the hard drive that I plugged into the computer, and get those all into like the program. I'm like, that's just a huge pain. So now, basically, what it's looking like is around the same what I had it before. I will try to get out soon, though. If anything, I might even have like a little preview right here. Like I'll put it somewhere around here. 
of what it's actually looking like right now because I think it's coming out pretty decent. But uh, that looks like everything for here. I will definitely try to make more videos now that kind of work has uh, kind of simmered down since the holidays went over in uh, school. I finally have off until the 24th. So hopefully uh, keep this up. But uh, you know, it's nice to get a little update video here and I hope to see you guys soon.